Thanks for checking out this movie review video. So this is for the 2018 film The Pool that is currently available for streaming on the Shutter streaming service the day I'm putting this review up. Now, since it's a 2018 film and it's just hitting Shutter, and I'm not sure if it's been anywhere else in the United States at this point because it is a film from Thailand, uh, it will be no spoilers in this review, but it should give you a good idea whether you want to watch this or not. So uh, it was written and directed by Ping... I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher the last name. Ping Lumpra Plion, Rump, Lumpra Plion, Plong. Lumpra Plong. Okay, that's my best rendition. Once again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, he's done a few films, uh, and one of them really caught my eye, the name of it, that makes me really want to check it out. It's called Noodle Boxer, and it looks like he's done mainly some, um, like, lighter fare, maybe some comedy, a little bit of, like, high school, uh, direction type films, so, um, yeah, interesting. So, a quick synopsis on this that won't really give, I mean, it gives some away because, uh, it's a very simple plot to it. Uh, plus the name says a lot to it. So it's called The Pool. It's basically about a guy who gets stuck in a pool, or the pool in this instance, and bad things happen. One, There's one strongly bad thing in particular that I will not go into, although I know if you kind of follow Shudder on Twitter, they've kind of ruined that in a picture that they put out there for the film, which I wish they wouldn't because that's kind of was a cool surprise thing in the beginning of the film. Um, but if you haven't seen any of the spoilery type stuff for it, um, you can go into it and be kind of surprised in the beginning. And that's one of the things about the beginning is that it's nice and attention grabbing with what happens immediately. Now they do one of these things that's been done in a lot of films before, and I kind of like sometimes, but there, there's a bad side to it as well. And I'll talk about that, but they do the thing where they start with kind of a portion of the film that story wise is towards the end. And it's just a little segment of it. And then you'll end up seeing it again much later towards the end of the film. And then they expand upon that, the events after that, to show you how all that resolves. But it starts it off by showing this is a bad situation. And now we'll go back and we're going to show you how we got here. Now, it's cool because you kind of see how a lot of things led to that. But then it also kind of sucks because when you're seeing how certain things lead to that, if you're remembering that opening scene, then you also know certain things that uh, don't happen. Uh, and so when they come up in the film and you're like, oh, there's a possibility of this happening, then you think and you're like, no, because I remember in the opening scene that this was happening, so there's no way this happens at this point in the story. So some of the tension, some of the like, oh my gosh moments kind of get ruined because of that, but not a ton. And with this film, there is, there's a decent amount in it that you don't see coming that is interesting to it. So it doesn't really, you know, spoil the movie doing it that way. Now I do have some problems with this film and I will say that overall, the story around the people involved in it is not very good. Uh, what is good is the meat and potatoes of it that you would be going into it with, which is this person being stuck in this pool with issues and how they deal with that. That is what's interesting. That is what's good about the film. What is bad about the film is where they tried to add some sort of like backstory with characters and things that go on with those characters. That does not work, in my opinion. Uh, in fact, they do some things that I really hate with that, with that storyline that really made me roll my eyes. And actually, a few times I was yelling at the screen, actually towards the end, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> uh, the drawback... Or I already kind of talked about that. Sorry about that. There are some really nice visuals in this. Uh, and I think from a technical standpoint, there's a lot of great technical stuff in this film. It looks really good. Nice directing, nice cinematography. Um, some of the camera work looks like it would have been pretty tough to do. Uh, the acting, by and large, is quite good, especially the, the lead actor does a outstanding job with what seems like a pretty demanding role, in my opinion. And I was watching this, and I'm just like, being in that role, that had to be really exhausting for many reasons. Uh, one, the emotional uh, acting of it, but also one of the biggest things, there's a lot of physical acting to it, a lot of things that they had to do physically that I was like, you would just be physically tired filming this this film. 
Uh, so kudos to that that individual. That was that was awesome. Since you already know where it goes, it's actually interesting to see everything kind of set up. I kind of talked about this a little bit, but you pick up on like key little things where you're just like, ah, now I see where this comes into play here and this comes into play here. So that's on display and nice. What is going on with that? Weird. Sorry. Um, do, 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 do. There's a pretty well done tense moment involving a choice that needs to be made relatively early in the film, but I think it kind of sets the tone for when things are tough decisions or when things get high stakes in this film, they do do a good job of setting up the tension, of making you feel it. And it's partially done with the way they shoot it, with the camera work that they do, with the acting that they use, and with the soundtrack that they use. And the soundtrack, by and large, is good as well. That's something I forgot to say with, you know, talking about the technical components. All the technical stuff, for the most part, is good. It's just the script issues with the script. Um, and once again, not the pool portion of the script, but all the story between people portion is, yeah, a lot of cliche going on there. I will say that. A lot of cliche. Um, there's something they use in this that ups the stakes. This is one of my biggest issues. There's something they use that really ups the stakes with it, which I really, really hate in film when it gets dropped in because I think it's cheap. I think it's a cheap way to up stakes, and I think that it's overused to the nth degree. Now, another thing is I'm a little bit biased because it's something that just never works for me personally. Uh, it doesn't make me personally feel like the stakes are upped and it doesn't get me to care anymore. I know it does work for some people out there and you'll understand what I'm talking about if you've seen the film already or when you see the film, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I hate it when that stuff gets dropped in. I think it's cheap and I think you can be more creative and and do something else. Just really do something else. For a foreign film, you actually don't have to read a whole lot of subtitles in this. And, you know, that doesn't matter to me because I'm fine reading subtitles. But there are some people out there, they don't like to read a whole lot of subtitles. So if you're one of those people, uh, you should be okay with this. You will need to do some subtitle reading. But to be honest, um, you don't have to do that a whole lot of that. And actually... If you're like me and you don't really care that much about the backstory of all these people, you could just 100% not read any of the subtitles. Because if you just want to see what's happening in the pool and the dangerous situations, all you need is the visuals, to be honest. So you can just watch it that way. If I was going to rewatch it, that's how I would watch it. I would not read any of the subtitles. Uh, there's some CG in this that is pretty well done. There are a few moments where it looks kind of wonky and part of that ends up being where it gets kind of too close up. Uh, there are some good, some close up portions where I was pleasantly surprised that the CG looked as good as it did. So it's pretty accomplished from that standpoint. But like I said, there are just a few moments where it looks a little bit wonky, but not bad, not bad. The audio has some problems. Uh, it's one of those issues where dialogue is very, very low sound, and then any sort of a sound effects or the music is very loud. So you have this issue where, you know, you have it at a comfortable level of volume for the music and for the, the practical or the sound effects, and then all of a sudden people are talking and you're like, I can't. I, I cannot hear what they're saying. And then you have to turn it up. And then you forgot that you turned it up. So then when it goes to the, the sound effects and the music, it blows your eardrums out. So that's something I have an issue with with this. I hate when films do that. Uh, there are some moments that made me actually cringe for sure. And it's things involving that would hurt type stuff. And I think it would be like that for a bunch of other people too. Uh, so kudos on doing those. That That was nice. Uh, there is some badass stuff at the end of this film that I did not see coming, and I think a lot of people will feel the same way when they experience it. Um, I didn't see it coming, and there's something like it's it's getting there, and you're seeing where it's going, and I was like, oh no, really? We're going to do this? Okay, that is badass. And it, it goes from there. So uh, yeah, there's there's some nice nice moments in the end of this. But then we get the story coming into it, and it kind of ruins things for me personally. Uh, so something actually happens at the end that I was like, do not do this. I was actually yelling at the screen. I was like, do not. Do not do this. Do not. And then they did, and I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, it doesn't make sense 
for the timing at the end of the film, and it doesn't make sense for the impact, in my opinion. Well, I mean, for some people, it, it, it may actually add to the impact. For me personally, it doesn't, because once again, it's another one of those things that's very cliche, it gets overused, it gets done all the time, and I was like, the way they were going, I was like, good, this is the way it should go, this will have more impact for me personally, it won't be cliche, no, then they just, whoop, turn the car last minute, we're like, hey, we're going to cliche land, let's go, so, and, it, and once again, it's not realistic for the amount of time spent at the end, and you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it, or if you've already have. <sighs> And I just wrote, I was so mad. I wrote down, they did it. They did exactly what they shouldn't have done. That ticked me off. Yeah, so it didn't end in a great way for me. But like I said, if I would have watched it the first time the way I'm saying I would watch it a second time, not reading any of the story or any of the subtitles and not like focusing on the human story, really, except for the struggle in the pool. Um, yeah, they would, I would have had a much better experience with it. But because of that, I have to like lower the rating some on it. So there is a lot of good, like you've heard me talk about. There is some bad. So in the end, I'm going to give it a two and a half stars out of five. I was thinking about potentially giving it a three, but the ending and, and some of the cheap cliche stuff that got thrown in, I was like, that's got to downgrade it. And I even considered taking it down to a two because of that. But that the badass moments at the end brought it back up to the two and a half. So two and a half stars out of five. I would say, yeah, check it out once. Uh, it's definitely worth watching once. It's an hour and a half long. It does feel a little bit long at times with the story, the backstory or the human story aspect of it. But there's a lot of good stuff there, and I did enjoy it. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. Put some comments down there. Spoilers in the comments. That's totally fine. Let's do that. And then uh, do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button if you could. Uh, it means a lot for my channel and I really appreciate it. So if you like any videos I've done, this one or any other one or, or multiple ones, just do me that favor and give me that support by subscribing um, and I would appreciate that. And if you already have subscribed or you're going to, make sure you hit the notification bell and then that way it, you, it makes sure that you know that whenever I'm putting up new videos or when I'm doing a live stream. And if you uh, do like my videos, if you could help me out by getting um, watching the video as soon as it or as close to as soon as it goes up, that actually helps it gain traction kind of fast and can get me more views in the long run. But, you know, Regardless, I appreciate you checking this video out and spending your time doing it, and until next time, keep it brutal.